guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a pen video. Seems a little odd to say, I don't do a lot of pen content, but um, this one is something a little different. This is the Tactile Turn Bolt Action Pen. And I have to tell you, if you are into EDC stuff, if you're into tactical pens, um, if you're into, you know, uh, nicer pens at all, this is something you probably should be taking a look at even if you're not and i would say i'm not this is a pen that could change your mind it is really really impressive now i have to say at the start that you know there are a lot of great pens out there for a dollar two dollars three dollars whatever you know under ten dollars you know the the sky is the limit like walk into a into a staples go down the pen aisle and you can find almost anything to suit your needs and your comfort um and, and so i've got to throw that out there right away uh, I can't in good conscience advise people to spend a uh, hundred bucks, 130 bucks Canadian, I suppose on a pen that is too much to spend on a pen. That's objectively too much to spend on a pen that said, um, this thing is really stinking cool. And I have to say to kind of give you some context here that I am super, super picky about pens. Come on, focus. I want you guys to be able to see. There we go. Some of the details on this. So you can see those very fine milled lines there. That's one of the ways this pen gets its name. By the way, you can see just under the clip there, Tactile Turn 2021. There, of course, is the bolt. There, This is the plain tie version with the stainless steel bolt. There are a bunch of variations of this pen, so I'll just say that if you... <laughs> If you are going to completely ignore my advice, which I will say again, I think is good advice and spend too much money on a pen, then you can actually spend more by looking at the various options that are available. You can do fancy bolts. You can do uh, a number of different, you know, totally irresponsible things. And so I want to put that out there. Now, next, let me say that I am really, really picky about pens. I rarely can find a pen that does like all the stuff that I want it to do. And here are just a few of the pens that I have tried and which honestly, you know, there's some good things. Whoops. There we go. There's some good things about each of these. And there's some things that aren't quite perfect about each of them as well. All right, I like the Zebra X701 because I like the way it feels in hand. Uh, very comfortable, a slightly thicker barrel, and I like the, the pressurized ink and the very fine point. Let me, uh, I feel like this is one of the things we're going to want to do here. Let me grab a piece of paper and uh, let's start off with the tactile turn bold action pen with a pilot g2 fine uh, ink insert here's the x701 you can see it's not a gel this is not a gel but it is pressurized so it uh, comes out pretty pretty easily i'm just going to run through a few of these Here's the regular, same same insert. This is the Pilot uh, G2 Fine, the 0.38. Um, this comes with the 0.7, but I've switched it out for the 0.38. These little Uni uh, 0.38 pens are amazing. Look how fine, very, very fine point. Um, probably the finest point that I've found that I can still comfortably write with. I really, really like these. And I wish there was like a nicer pen that had this same insert. Uh, but I, what I use this for a lot is taking notes in the margins of my Bible. It's super fine. The ink doesn't run. It dries basically instantly. Uh, so this is a great pen for that. Uh, this is the Wii to I have I can't remember what insert I've got in here hold on I've got the Parker uh, fine tip see the F there 
Uh, and I do like this quite a bit. It's, um, you know, I actually tried a couple of different inserts for this and I had a hard time finding one I liked. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with the, the Parker that I've got in there now. And, uh, uh, well, I say pretty happy. I'm not totally happy with it. It's still just not quite exactly what I like. And then finally, I've got the Zebra. Um, FX, FXMD here, uh, which there's also a, there's, there's now just a full stainless X701 or uh, F701. So it'd be essentially the same thing. Anyway, there's a quick line from each of them. And, you know, I like all of these pens, as I said, for different reasons. Some of them feel really good in hand. Some of them I like because of the, the hefty construction. Some of them I like because of the, the ink and the line that they make. And so let me just, so these three, I like more because of the, the line, but the, the writing feel. These two I like more because of the, the heavy duty nature of them. All right, but I don't, there's, there's not too many that cross both of these lines. However, this really does. And I'm, I'm sure if I tried a bunch of, you know, titanium high-end pens, I could find others. I'm not going to do that because again, I'm not crazy. So there's no way I'm spending hundreds of dollars on pens. Uh, but I have to say, you know, having used this and been, I've, I've, I've purposely put, um, so this is a, a brand new pen. I took the original ink insert out put my own in just so that i could use up all the ink and i wouldn't be you know someone down the road isn't going to buy a pen that now has no ink so i've got the the brand new ink insert set aside uh ready to be uh ready to be reinserted into this if i should decide to send it back to steve however let me say that the experience of writing with this pen is so good that I think rather than send this back to Thunderbird gear where you could go and buy one for yourself, I'm going to be sending Steve the money to pay for this pen. And honestly, I never thought that that would be, that would be the result of this experiment. Okay. Um, I think, I think that would be, anyway, there's a huge mental barrier for me to get past, to be willing to do that. And yet I think that's what's going to happen here because I really, really like this. So now let's get into the details of this pen in particular. Some of these I may bring back in uh, as we kind of go over the next few minutes. So first of all, the construction of this is, you know, it's a solid piece of titanium with this very, very fine milling on it that feels amazing. The grip and the ergonomics on this are essentially perfect. It's also pretty light for being a full titanium pen. It's surprisingly lightweight and surprisingly comfortable to write with, even when you're writing quite a bit. So those, those two considerations alone are almost what makes the difference. Now, the one thing I will say is these two pens have the exact same ink insert in them. And yet this one is still way more comfortable to write with, especially for like prolonged periods. It's way nicer and easier to control. Um, just because of the the ergonomics and the just because that tactile okay the, t the term tactile turn comes from these grooves and how perfectly you know ergonomic this is and it really really is that good okay so i have to i have to point that out moving away from now there by the way you could and uh, if you go on tactile turns website uh, you can find a whole list of all the potential ink refills that you could put in here, which is another nice touch because they, you know, uh, they they understand that not everyone is going to like the uh, the Pilot G2. Uh, I guess you just saw me open that up. The other thing I love is look how clean and tight that is. Like you can not tell where that cap even comes off. Really, really impressive work. Uh, moving over here to the, the bolt and the pocket clip. This clip is a heavy piece of steel. You know, it's very positive. 
And frankly, I have to say, I think that's an important feature because if you're spending the kind of money this stupid thing costs, you don't want to lose it. And so this is a very, very positive clip with really, really high retention, which, you know, I think is necessary. And then finally, the bolt. The bolt here is so fun to flick. It, it becomes a little obsessive and I find myself sitting here while I'm thinking about things, you know, figuring out how my sermon's going to go, figuring out what I'm going to cover in a class. Uh, I just find myself sitting here flicking this. It feels so, so good. It's really amazing. Uh, furthermore, now this is a metal tube. Okay. So pretty hard to mess up, but, um, tactile turn does give you a lifetime warranty on this, which I think makes perfect sense because, I don't know what what could you do to it like it's it's vir virtually indestructible uh, but nonetheless if you did somehow mess something up or something went wrong it does have a good warranty so thought I'd throw that in there as well all right uh, I think we've covered all of the details I've covered how this feels when writing I've compared it to a bunch of other pens I have to reiterate that this is a hundred and thirty dollar pen okay so as a reviewer I'm like yeah go to, you know, go to a conference and use all the free pens that they give out. You know what I mean? Um, I, you know, I, I have a hard time <laughs> actively encouraging anyone to go spend this kind of money. If you are going to spend this kind of money though, this is definitely the pen to buy. And I think, hold on, my camera's drifting. And I think, uh, Steve over at Thunderbird gear is a great source. Um, he does a good job. He has a good amount of stuff in stock. Go check him out. And uh, he has a few other options of this as well. So I, you know, as I say, if you're going to spend this much money, you can you may as well spend a little bit more. I think the most expensive one, I don't know if Steve has one in stock, but um, the most expensive version of this is actually in uh, zirconium instead of titanium. So if you really want to splurge and like go all out, you could have a zirconium pen. Um, I'm not, it's not lost on me the irony that you know, here you have a $130 pen and the ink insert is from a, you know, $2 pen or 99 cent pen or something like that. Uh, I don't know what Pilot G2s go for. I haven't bought any in a while, but um, I'm, you know, I'm aware, I'm well aware of that. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know your comment, your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, you know, am I crazy for even considering buying this? Am I crazy for, you know, would you be crazy if you went out and bought one? Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll talk to you soon.